Hello guys. I thought we could do another drawing, pattern drawing session together today. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Carissa Tanton and I am an illustrator originally from North Wales and I now live in central Portugal with my partner Yuan and a collection of animals including Diogo who is sleeping here. I don't think he'll be doing much drawing. He's, he's just here for the calm calm vibes. <laughs> so make yourself a cup of tea. I'm drinking hibiscus today or coffee or pour yourself a glass of wine. I'm focusing mostly on drawing patterns firstly because I find the repetitive nature of them really calming to draw and that's what we're trying to achieve here and I think also when you can come to something like drawing it can be a little bit stressful if you're trying to make something look like something else and here we're just trying to enjoy the whole process. Last drawing class we worked on this pattern, I'll link that video in the description below in case you wanted to go and watch that one and I thought we would do um, something today to do with leaves. So I'll find a nice fresh page. You'll just need a piece of paper, a sketchbook, a piece of paper from your printer, an old envelope, whatever you like. And I'm using a fine liner pen. This is a 0.5 uni pin. You can use anything for this kind of a practice. You just want to be able to get a good clean line. So a thin paintbrush, a colouring pencil, a felt tip, a sharpie, just a regular pencil will do. Um, that's all we need. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is create a shape. In the last class I just drew a circle but you can use any shape that you like. I just like to have some sort of a boundary within which to put the pattern. Again, you could just go to the edge of the page or just do a line around the page. Anything will work, it doesn't really matter. So I think I'm just going to do a square. And I'm going to do a leaf pattern. So that just begins with a pointed oval. Would this be called an oval? <laughs> I need to learn my shapes. I guess kind of like a bit like an eye shape, corner of an eye. I don't know. Let me know what you think this shape would be called. And then from the furthest point down the middle you want to draw a line and that is the centre of the leaf. And then you can just, you could leave it like that but I like to then draw lines in along the side here. To create a leaf like this. And then about halfway up the leaf we start again with a similar shape. And then we'll go all the way down to the edge here. To line down the middle. And again, we could now fill in with the lines if that's what you're doing, or you could carry on drawing the shapes. I'm just going to fill these lines in. It's about finding a kind of flow that feels good to you. So I tend to do them all a similar-ish kind of size, but if you wanted to you could do a really big leaf and some smaller ones and mix up the shapes. But I do personally find keeping them all uniform is, it kind of allows my brain to relax a little bit more into the process because once you start changing the size and shape of the leaves you have to think a little bit more 
about the placement of the next ones. So I think from here on out I will do them a similar size again, but I quite like that there's a big leaf in here. So as you can see, I'm just adding all the shapes in and what I find is sometimes I get a little bit bored of doing one thing. Boredom's fine here, like boredom is quite a re relaxing state sometimes, but when I kind of I'm tired of drawing the shapes then I'll go in and do the lines down the middle. Maybe fill one in. with the cross lines. And if you're not really happy with the placement of things, you can either, either continue and just try and work with it and see how the piece evolves, how the pattern turns out by carrying on or just turn the page and start again. It's supposed to be relaxing so if you're finding yourself getting stressed then do whatever feels good to remove anything that feels stressful. This is one of my favourite patterns as someone who is a keen gardener and likes to be outside. I like to draw anything that has a kind of nature theme and maybe next time you're out walking you could look at the different leaf shapes around you and you could come up with a different style of pattern with different shapes. I imagine an oak leaf pattern. Maybe I'm going to have to try that myself. An oak leaf pattern would be really beautiful. And I use this pattern if I'm doing like foliage or filling in the shape of a tree. Or sometimes if I've drawn a person, this can be a really nice shape to draw into a jumper that they might be wearing. I think I've even done this on a dog collar. <laughs> So just try and find like a place for your breathing to settle. Don't forget to take a breath. I sometimes find myself holding mine when I draw, so that's as much as a reminder to myself. And make sure your hand is comfortable if you need to move the position of the paper. And please do so.
so I've just focused on drawing out all the shapes with the line down the middle. I'm going to be rebellious and draw another big leaf in here. As you come to the edge of your shape, you might find it a little bit confusing as to where to put things, but just kind of try and think about the outside edge of the shape and the line down the middle. So for example, there's clearly an opening here, but I can't really, the leaf would come there, but the middle of it would be here. Uh, that's that leaf there. What is quite nice if you have done it this way rather than doing all the lines on each leaf is once you've captured all the shapes when you do go in to draw all the lines it's a lot more I don't want to say mindless but <laughs> but it's kind of what I mean when you're putting these shapes in now as we are, you're having to think a little bit about where each one goes. But once they're done and we're just drawing the lines, you're not really having to think anymore. You're just being even more slow and repetitive in the drawing. And that's what I find is the, the nicest phase of this kind of drawing for it being kind of a meditative practice. It can get really boring. Our brains do not really like it, but it's really good for you. And we'll do that now. So I'm gonna start back here. I think I'm gonna change my pen. This one feels a bit dry. Feels nicer. Um, yeah, if you are struggling with the boredom of this phase, then you can always put on an audiobook or a podcast if you want it to. But if you can just try and let your brain, oh, this pen is so much nicer. If you can just let your and relax into the repetitiveness. You might find you feel really refreshed afterwards. You're so used to thinking all the time or being given information all the time. I'm terrible for it, like if I'm doing the washing up, I have to be entertained. <laughs> Very rarely. Just let our thoughts settle. is to get from the edge to the middle and create a really nice clean line but this is not something that needs to be perfect if you accidentally cross over onto another leaf or you miss the line like sometimes I come in and finish too early don't worry about it <laughs> But if you are finding that you are missing them a lot, like if you're doing a draw like this, you're probably going a bit too fast. And this is supposed to be kind of slow. So 
it might be a bit of a hint to slow down and let the let your attention like be more focused on each line not to be perfect but just to be thoughtful and mindful Just to offer up a few alternative ways of filling this in aesthetically. So if you were working on a piece and you wanted to create variation, one option is to just only do the lines on one side of the leaf. This could be the same side on all of them and leave one blank. It kind of adds a nice contrast having the empty white space. You could also alternate and do it on different sides of different leaves. Um, another option is to colour in one side black or whatever colour if you're using a different colour and then leave the other side white or fill it in. I wouldn't draw, well actually you can do whatever you like but if you were to fill both in black you would obviously lose your middle line, you just have a black shape, whatever this shape is. <laughs> um, but if you were alternating and just adding a few in, it might be quite a nice place for the eye to land on the finished piece. Just if you want a few options. I personally do just like doing them all the same. I'm going to go back in <laughs> where I've left these blank ones. Well, I'll leave, I'll leave one so that you can see it at the end. And if, like me, you were just holding your breath, don't forget to breathe. And don't go too fast.
also if you're now coming up to this corner and obviously my hand is on this piece of work a lot you can just take out or grab another piece of paper to place to protect the hair because I'm getting sweaty hands so <laughs> I'm gonna smudge it if I if I don't protect it.
catching myself going too fast then. <laughs> I missed a lot of lines. It's uh, definitely a good way to remind yourself to slow down. Something I heard on a podcast the other day, I can't remember which one, sorry, but um, they said that one of the best ways to really kind of calm your nervous system, I think, you know, we, we kind of run around in a frantic way, I know I do sometimes, you feel like you've got too much to do and not enough time, and one of the best ways to calm yourself is just to move more slowly so say you're rushing from task to task just walk slower do the task more slowly you're not really going to get it done that much quicker by running around frantically but you are going to enjoy it a lot more if you're consciously slowing down to do it I don't know I found that kind of helpful for when I catch myself running around too much and that's why I started drawing like this is because I am not naturally <laughs> a very calm person in my brain it's quite busy I hope this is helping you to calm down too. Maybe check in with how you might be feeling different compared to when we started. Are you trying to fill the page really quickly so you can finish and get on with the next thing? Maybe if you are, try and go even slower. Because I know that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking, oh, I better, I'm going to try and fill this page as quickly as possible so then I can edit this video. <laughs> There's no rush. can still see what I'm doing. So I'm just looking at it now with these, if you've done like me and added a few black leaves. Um, I actually really like this white one being left so I think I'm gonna leave another one. Even though the purpose, you know, aesthetically this doesn't really matter, it's just the act of doing it, but it always kind of feels more satisfying if you're happy with what you've created in the end. So it's nice to kind of look back, or step back and look at the page and see, see how it's coming together and how you might want to make some adjustments. So, for example, I think these black leaves look a bit random because there's just these two. <laughs> so I think I don't want it to be too symmetrical. So I'm going to put the black one in here. I want it to be a bit random. I think the, the eye instinctively will kind of Nowhere feels good. I think I'm going to colour in one of these as well. Maybe just like a very top corner here. This one. Just feels a little bit more balanced. This 
this one needs to be as well. Feels better. You might find, like I'm finding now, my hand is almost falling off here. It's not very comfortable. So if you happen to have another book of the same height, you can put that there for your hand to be more comfortable.
So the last one. Try and make it the slowest one I've drawn. <laughs> and one thing I like to do when I finished is just go around the edges again. It just kind of cleans it up and captures any whiskers, I call them. Just sometimes get little bits that come off the edge. There we go, that is that page finished. I love this pattern so much. I quite like the um, the white leaves that have been left. I think that adds a really nice element to it, so I'll try that more going forward. But I hope you have enjoyed drawing with me. I've really enjoyed it. I definitely feel calmer than I did when I started. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and if you ever need a moment of calm then you're welcome to draw, create, come watch this video again or take the inspiration you've gathered today and create something new. So yeah, take care, bye. Mm -hmm.